How's it going guys? Cam08 here and bringing you guys some domination on radiation. And the gun I'm using in this gameplay is the L96 with extended mags. I've got the ballistic knife for my secondary. I'm using Tomahawk, Nova Gas, Tac Insertion. And for my perks, I've got Lightweight Pro, uh, Warlord Pro, and Ninja Pro. And these perks are only two perks is different from my other gameplays. And um, I use Warlord because they have when you use warlord pro you have two tomahawks or you will get two grenades and for your like your secondary um grenade like your stun grenades or your nova gases it comes with two and i like to use the two nova gases it comes in handy a lot because when i'm usually playing domination or any objective games and when you're going for the objective and trying to cat flag b i would throw my nova gas like farther in front of me to like stall off the enemy team from getting close by so it kill it gives us time to capture b and it stalls them away so we can pretty much set up our perimeters and get everybody settled in their positions and um yeah i and for the map i know i've been posting a lot lately on like submit or radiation yeah th those radiation and submit yeah, i guess you'll say is one of my favorite maps to play on but <laughs> I guess I do really good because I already got the spawns down and I know where they're coming from and my friends also are really used to to the maps already but I know I haven't posted much on like the new maps yet or anything coming out on that um, f talking about like spawn points or objective games or any rusher series on those other maps but in this gameplay I just wanted to talk strictly about quick scoping and how the connection wise affects you while you do try to quick scope or no scope and all that other stuff while you're sniping because in this video you'll take notice in the first beginning like the very beginning right here like i wasn't doing so good at all and um not having steady aim like i said with warlord it'll, it doesn't help you a lot it'll just gives you two tomahawks or grenades or um to nova gas or stuns but it comes in handy for me once in a while but I, I like it because you got your double stuff in there but in connection wise what i wanted to talk about is when i know everybody like they want this quick scope and stuff and it's really hard to get really good kills or if you guys want to get good kill fees or collats and all these other good stuff and you guys do take notice don't you guys take notice when you guys don't have host connection you guys don't do so well in here i know in in modern warfare 2 if you have yellow bars you sometimes you can still kill the guy like really easy like you do have host connection but in black ops i take notice it's a lot harder to play with if you don't have a good connection and when i play it as far as when we're searching in a lobby for another room and stuff, I always set my thing to local only because it 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 kind of merges us to close by locations. And for us living in Hawaii, the closest is like what like west coast side of the mainland, so um, it helps a lot better. But in the first beginning, you see right here, host migration is happening right now. In the first beginning of this gameplay you take notice I'm hard scoping a lot and I'm trying to hold my breath a lot and try to shoot this guy and I'm still not ch not clipping these guys off and I did miss a lot too though but I'm trying to say like in host connection wise like if you guys have really good connection you guys will have a really good gameplay because sometimes like me and my friends play like if we see we have like yellow bars already I'm like oh forget it let's just leave get out of here I'm not even going to take a chance of getting my butt raped from because of a stupid connection <laughs> but um yeah you guys will see the difference in here and a host migration already happened and the connection already host migrated to our connection and you see right here like i get this guy was uh, like a second or a second and a half longer than modern warfare 2 of course but it's it's a lot faster when i'm quick scoping in here it'll hit the guy a lot easier than what our connection was before i mean our connection wasn't so bad it was still green but it was like what three bars i think three green bars and um the enemy team of course had host connection but you could see in the beginning my shots weren't really connecting they weren't killing the guy and i wasn't even getting a hit marker but take notice now that we have a 
we have close connection right now later on in this gameplay i'm gonna get a really good kill feed and it's gonna hit like see this guy i just killed him it was like that was like so easy like he died like instantly already but and connection wise like when i'm playing and with my friends and stuff we we do not stick around we we just get out of there and we we probably like play like one game and if we think we can handle it we'll probably i would bust out my light um not light machine but my, my submachine gun i'd bust out probably the ak-74u or i'd bust out the famas or i would bust out the commando and then we'll just hurry up and get rid of the game like we'll just full on rush and just cap all the flags on domination and just get out of there and find a brand new room but in here you'll take notice you'll take notice i'm like right here i'm all like uh where's everybody i'm waiting come on i'm on a roll now i'm feeling good about this i'm really feeling good about this and if you got a gut feeling i'm like okay i think i'm gonna get a really good kill feed or i'm gonna get really good kills and i'm gonna be killing you guys really easy believe it because it does happen when your host connection changes to your connection and it helps out a lot especially for a lot of you guys that's trying to make a montage or you guys really want a good gameplay to dish out there to do a cool commentary on there or just to have a fun game and an easy game to like kill kill the enemy team like really easy with one shot without getting hit markers or not even not even functioning at all i mean <laughs> right here this is where i start to work out my kill streaks and this is my first sr-71 that i ended up working up and it took a time it took a bit of time because there was like only what four or three people left on the enemy team oh my god this part is so embarrassing <laughs> I ended up getting this guy a good one though. I was bust laughing when I caught him. I was like, oh no, he went down the stairs. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. And I got him. <laughs> I was laughing so hard when I got that guy on my ballistic. I had to watch a little bit of the kill cam. But um, yeah, after that, it was just plain quick scoping. And well, that was a bit of a hard scope. I was that one too. But I don't care. As long as we got green connection. Oh. I'm freaking happy when that happens. I'm so happy when that happens. And I know my friends are like totally happy too. Like, yes, host connection. And it's different from Modern Warfare 2 days. From Modern Warfare 2, sometimes it wouldn't matter. We, we wouldn't really care if we had host connection or not. Because it was, it was easier to kill people. But in here, if you really want to have a good game. And you really want to do good. And you really want to get good kill feeds. And just full on merc beast mode and just get a lot of kills and run around and shoot these guys easily with a couple of bullets instead of your whole half a clip or a full clip but you see right here as you can see right here i have host connection now and i'm killing these guys a lot more easier and they're dying they're dropping right there already so yeah i kind of wanted to do the commentary on host connection and how how it actually does affect your gameplay and it's not that's not saying like oh i didn't kill that guy and then let the enemy team like talk crap to you like oh you suck you can't even snipe i'm like screw you man we had a shitty connection and it proves it right here this is a really good example and i want i really wanted to talk about this subject because it really does take an effect when you're trying to quick scope or any other gun too that you would be using and you would take notice you have like yellow bars and this guy's not dropping so yeah and this game <laughs> i ended up working my full kill streak too and i'm all like telling my friends like no don't cap it don't cap it just let them cap a let them cap a i want to bust out my chopper gunner i don't want it to go to waste and <laughs> this is another way like if you guys want to full out finish all your kill streaks and if you're not playing with a bunch of randoms and idiots are like capping all the flags so like right here i just let these guys cap it before i killed them because there were nobody else no other enemy team was close by the a that would recap it but i wanted i told asked my friends like just let them cap please i don't want to waste my chopper gunner or my dogs <laughs> so i let them just sit back and there was all like yeah yeah don't kill them don't kill them just let them cap it so and the score i think is like what 195 or 198 already all we need to do is just cap one flag and that's no problem after my chopper gun is done but 
I really didn't want to waste my chopper gun. I'm like, please, no, don't capture it. Let the guy capture it. <laughs> so, yeah, I just finished up my chopper gunner. Yeah, the score is like 198, and all I need to say, yep, I'm good. And then I think only one of my friends need to capture one flag, and I think only one of them captured it. Yeah, then he just captured it right there. But, um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about is the connection wise makes a big difference. And it's, this video was a really good example in this gameplay in the beginning I wasn't doing so good and once host migration happened and I had full green bars, it helped out a shitload. So, um, yeah, this video is coming to an end and I am in the final kill cam. I got stabbed in my back. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this commentary educating and I hope it I hope it helped you guys out and for like future games that you guys would like to do, I suggest to put it on local. It helps a lot. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys next time. Hope you guys like the commentary. Rate, comment, subscribe. Shooties!